Hey guys, today I am cooking a roast in the Dutch oven. I have my coals going and once they get ready then I'm going to put them on this pan right here and then I'll put my Dutch oven on top. Bill Gowdy did a a roast in his Dutch oven. I think it's called Mississippi Mud. And I'm going through the store watching his video, so I hope I got everything. But I'm adding mushrooms, which I think he did another time too. But I have my roast, these pepper, oh, however you say that, pepperoncinis. And I got these a year or so ago for a dollar. Cheap. So I'm going to use half a probably half a can or half a jar of these i'm gonna use all those some azure gravy and some ranch mix and then later on i'll add in some uh mushrooms but right now we just had a really nice little shower my hair got wet so oh those hummingbirds are out of water i need to go do that This is a top round roast. I bought it was on sale here in Capitan. So let's just throw it into the Dutch oven. I changed my mind on the peppers. This was not sealed. And look at that. They look okay, but no. Like I said, I've had them for over a year, and I'm not going to chance it. So, they're going bye-bye. There's just stuff growing on the inside right there. So, we're going to change gears, and it's just going to be roast. I may throw some potatoes in there. I'm going to still use these seasonings. And I have the mushrooms. It's just, these are going bye-bye. So I have some chicken broth I'm going to add in here for the liquid. Put the lid on it. So I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to count my coals, which I never do. Um, I'm going to cook it anywhere between 300 and 350. So I looked up the chart at 325. You want 15 coals, five on the bottom and 10 on top. So that's what we're gonna do. So these are ready. I said five on bottom. Well, that's a little one. And I'm gonna cook this, I don't know, probably three or four, four hours. Long time today. I'm just gonna let it sit there and cook all day. So I'll bring you back in a little while after it's cooked for a little while. Okay, I got coals still going over there because this is going to be, like I said, an all-day process of cooking this roast. So I just dumped all the used coals off the top of my lid, put new coals on, did the same thing underneath. But let me show you what it looks like. Bowling. That's looking good. It smells good. I'm gonna probably give it another half an hour and then I'll put the mushrooms in. Mm, that's looking good. I'm gonna throw the mushrooms in now. Oh yeah, that looks wonderful. Need to probably start a few more. I just keep these going and keep adding them. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
That looks awesome. Awesome. But it's tough. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that for a long, a whole lot longer. I am going to take the roast off of out of the Dutch oven. I, this is, I'm going to call this a fail. <laughs> Not really a total fail, but this is probably one of the Dutch oven meals that I'm not satisfied with. And I will tell you why. Okay, it looks wonderful. It really does. And I'm going to tell you that I've been cooking this for five hours. I started it at 2 p.m. today. It's 7 and I'm hungry now. <laughs> and it's just, you know, it's just now getting to where I like it, where it is falling apart, which I'm happy about that. I'm not saying it's a total fail, but one thing you have to consider, which I think this is going to be really good, actually, now that it's falling apart, but I was really worried about it because it it was so tough. But I didn't use firewood. I used charcoal. And for five hours, I almost used half a bag of charcoal. And, you know, if I'd have used a wood and just had a fire going and kept adding to this it would have probably been I guess I'd have felt better about it but I used a lot of charcoal to do this so um, it's probably gonna taste good and it's falling apart better now than it was just an hour ago next time when I have electricity next time I'm gonna cook it in the crock pot because it's it's a winner every time in the crock pot. It's more tender than I thought it was gonna be, but it's very salty. I added a, of course I love horseradish with any of my meat, but it, it is salty and I'm not really sure why. I did add a half a packet of turkey gravy at the end just to thicken up the sauce, but it's a little spicy. It's a little salty. Okay, maybe next time we'll try something different, like in the crock pot.